Good evening. September the 9th, 2011, um, on a great fall afternoon as we're passing through the foothills of uh, the Texarkana, Texas and Arkansas border. You know, it's um, amazing that we have this moment this day to spend a few minutes of reflection um, around some things that are real prevalent to this moment in time in our history. You know, as I mentioned, it's September the 9th, two days away from uh, the anniversary, the 10th anniversary of the horrific tragedy of September the 11th, um, when those airplanes, those guests on um, our American soil uh, took an opportunity to catch us at our weakest state um, when we weren't paying attention at the most important time in our lives for the lives of so many. So uh, as we prepare for that day to come this Sunday, you know, a special tribute goes in place at this moment in time for all the families and, and special friends and um, unique people that lost lives on that day, um, that legacies um, will carry over for not only this 10 years that have just passed, but 20 and 30 years to come. Also, as it relates to the special nuances of this weekend, this month, you know, the great month of September. Um, you know, 10 years ago, I couldn't have imagined that I am in the position I am in today, um, being a small business owner and have traveled that road being a philanthropist and had traveled that road, um, being able to actively give back to my community and to young people that stretch clear across um, state lines and regions from Texas to Mississippi, Arkansas to Louisiana. Um, so there's a real special moment of reflection there because I also had the great opportunity as we sit on the Texas soil and um, just reflect for a moment. Um, about some of the things that took place over the last 24 hours. I had the great privilege of spending a part of the month of September with my brother in arms, my true friend, um, a mighty, mighty Virgo and a mastermind representing down there in Houston, Texas, the one, the only, Reginald Charles Adams and his great wife, Rhonda Rafford Adams. Um, you know, we're just 10, 12 miles up the road from the Queen City and I couldn't help but to reflect about for the first time in my um, great, great travels of going back and forth from Texas um, and coming in and out of the city of Houston that I get an opportunity to meet um, the queens of creativity and um, just that unique band of women and um, how those women were introduced to me by those wonderful art angels, um, Rhonda and Miss Sarita Dean, um, great women, a part of a really dynamic movement taking place with the Museum of Cultural Arts Houston. Um, what they're able to do to outreach to young people on so many different levels from the arts to sisterhood and becoming a great woman and why young men have another outlet besides the streets or just rap music to tap into their cultures of art and literacy and education. Um, I'm exuding with, you know, just joy about the great efforts that are going on not only in Houston, Texas, but how they're able to take the cup and spill it over into the jar over into Arkansas. So, as we sit here and I'm able to just reflect on how all those components and pieces came together with big hugs and grace on last evening at the art show for Pomoka um, that took place at America's right there in River Oaks um, in Houston, Texas. Had a great time and now we're back on the road going to Little Rock, Arkansas to wrap things up with some friends and fellowship over the next 24, 48 hours um, to close in on, you know, the Razorbacks playing their first game down home in Little Rock. Um, and then we're taking it a step further. Um, in this last but not least moment to reflect, I think ahead in my reflection for the opportunities of what I picture when I see young people sitting in the audience on Monday afternoon. Um, and we began to address the remembrance of 9-11 and the importance of becoming socially responsible young people in our society and why that is so important at such a critical juncture in our society. Um, so. There's a lot taking shape, a lot taking place. Um, the road trip has been fantastic. There's been a lot of education just about the movements throughout the South, and in particular the panhandle that takes you through the loops and winds of 59 as you head back to Little Rock, Arkansas, or you make your way to Houston, Texas. So as we sit here on the steps of a monumental um, school that was built in the 1930s, 1939, a time that um, Likely, I couldn't imagine we were taking strides to be the, the student uh, of choice if we're talking about race barriers and African American students in our grade schools, but thank God for these days that we can look back and look at the trailblazers that did take the steps to open up integration um, for schools like the one sitting behind me today and, and, and the hopes that 
we are coming back e a s f and grade school speakers to address the students not only of this school but in the local boys and girls clubs throughout this area to give them the education and insight on what it means to be a socially responsible young person to take pride and take action in your communities as a young young man spoke to me once before i think about it in closing as we look out on the sunset of this great day young people it is time for you to shine your light and without me confusing you with the latin greek figure of speech i'll just say and then there was light please shine yours thank you for supporting our movement the eddie armstrong scholarship foundation at www.easfoundation.com you can find us there please follow us on twitter and on facebook and last but not least live serve learn grow take advantage of your life and do something magnificent today